Scene, Ryan and Filmco, organizing shelves. Ryan is organizing the store and humming to himself. Enter Stacy. Good morning, Stacy. It is a good morning indeed. Today is already off to a great start. It's 9 a.m. How's it already a good day? The sun is shining, birds are chirping. What's not to love? Sure. Let's just get to work. Stacy walks behind register. Enter Chad. Hey, dudes. Chad, you're late. Hey, calm down, man. It's only 9.02. You're my star employee. Don't you start slacking now. Enter Carlos. Carlos, you're late too. And take off that hat. It's not part of our uniform. Sorry, boss. No can do. I've got hat hair today. <sighs> Whatever. At least you're finally here. Let's just get to work, everybody. Chad walks behind register with Stacy and gives her a hug. Hey, babe. Let's go out tonight. We can even bring Carlos along. Sounds great. Pick me up at 7. Come downtown with us tonight. I'll pick you up. All right. Cut to Stacy, Chad, and Carlos downtown outside a cafe. All are sitting around a table chatting. And then the bartender told the sandwich, Sorry, we don't serve food here. Carlos and Stacy laugh at Carlos's corny joke. Honestly, Carlos, you need to get into comedy. You always have the best jokes. Oh my gosh, you could totally make it in comedy. That would be so cool. Thanks, guys, but that's probably not my cup of tea. Carlos sips his tea, making his statement a pun. Chad and Stacy giggle. So, do you guys know why Ryan has been so hard on us recently? It seems like things have gotten so much more strict around here. Yeah, I used to love working there. It was always fun. Now it feels like boot camp. He always on our backs about everything. Probably because a store is going down faster than a brick in a river. What? No, it isn't. There's always people in this store. Wake up, Stacy. When was the last time we had a busy day? It's been months. With Netflix and Hulu becoming more popular, no one's coming to Film Co. anymore. Today I felt like we were pretty busy, though. Yeah, man. She's right. Everything is fine. The store is doing fine. All day today, we had probably 20 people come in. Don't you guys realize that there's never anybody at the store? Or are you too busy making out? Maybe you're right, Carlos. I never noticed that we weren't as busy as usual. That would totally explain Ryan's change in behavior. He's probably freaking out about this. We need to figure out a way to fix this. Let's start brainstorming. And what good will that do? Things are going down the drain. Come on, man. Ryan's a good guy. Let's help him out. We can't just sit by and watch the place drown. I think we can totally fix this. We need to help Ryan see the way the industry is changing and how we need to keep up with the times. Yeah, maybe if we offer streaming, more people will use our services. I know I'm the type of person that hates leaving the house just to get a movie. There's probably lots of other people just like me. Well, honestly, that's the biggest problem. Why would someone leave their house and get a movie from us when there's hundreds of movies available right on their computer at home? Let's tell Ryan all this. Maybe he hasn't realized this change. I can go talk to him tomorrow. I'll go with you. He loves me. No, honey. I can do this alone. Let me try to talk some sense into him, and if it doesn't work, we'll figure it out from there. Good idea. Let's just hope it works. I can't afford to lose another job. Scene ends.